Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna make ramen noodles. I know that doesn't sound too much like cooking, but if you're Asian, you grew up eating this, and if you're still cooking today, this was probably the gateway dish to cooking for you. I asked you guys on Facebook and Instagram how you guys like to dress up your ramen, and I received an overwhelming response. There were a lot of tips, tricks, technique, and super creative ways on how to prepare ramen. So I cannot wait to sit down and try the most unique ones. I won't be doing that on camera today, but maybe that'll be for the next video. I will go ahead and link a photo so that you guys can go through the comments. Thank you for sharing that with me. I love eating and I love to share how I like to make my food with you guys. So this is a treat for me. These are some of my favorite packaged ramen. I tried most of them, but the two that are new to me are the Indotime ones and then the roasted duck mama ones. Today in my video, we're gonna be focusing on the mama noodles. This one became my favorite, and this is the shrimp thum yum one. I always keep a box of this in my pantry. This is like $8 a box, and you get like 20 or 30 packages or something. It's freaking the bomb. The other favorites were the kung fu beef flavor one. I know this also comes in chicken. These are the social media crazed ones, the spicy Korean noodles. This is regular, this is double the heat. This one is also very good. It's a spicy seafood one. I love the texture of the noodle in here. And then the Shin Ran Yum ones, the YY or Wee Wee ones, I'm not really sure how you pronounce those, but these are my favorite for pan frying. Let's get started. I'm gonna be making three bowls of ramen today and I'm gonna have to eat it all because I don't like to waste food. So, <laughs> obviously get a pot of water boiling. I'm gonna make the shrimp tom yum noodles first. So go ahead and add that to your pot of boiling water. What this comes with is a seasoning package, some chili powder and the cooking oil. So go ahead and get that added right in. And I add it all at once. This oil is seriously the best stuff ever. I wish that I had double the package of this. I think it would be like the perfect amount. Now we're gonna add some meatballs. And these are seafood meatballs. I also have some dumplings here. And then we're going to crack an egg in there. I like to wait until the egg kind of starts to turn white around the edge and then I kind of just move it a little bit with my chopsticks and then I just cover it with the lid and let it do its magic. Now this isn't going to take very long to cook at all. I'm going to add some bean sprouts. I like my bean sprouts cooked so that's why I'm adding it right into the soup. And I'm going to turn this off, toss it around, top this off with basil, and some green onion, cilantro, I'm going to add some fried garlic, fried onion, a little bit of hoisin, sriracha, chili oil, want to stir this all up. <laughs> and you also cannot forget your Thai chilies. I like to dip it into shrimp paste. I do carry this into restaurants with me when I'm eating soup. seafood meatball. <laughs> I should have cut this up. Don't we? Okay, so once your water is boiling, we're going to make the next package of noodles, which is the pork flavor mama noodles. And then seasoning package. Doesn't matter which order this goes in. And I'm going to drop in a couple beef meatballs. For this, I like to scramble the eggs in there and just break up the yolk. And this is how my mom would make it for me as a kid. And we'll go ahead and cover it. some pork floss. This is so freaking good in here, you guys. Green onion and 
cilantro. Go ahead and mix that all up. We're gonna make the duck flavored ramen noodles now. The oil for this one, ooh, it's clear. Seasoning, chili. And then to this, I'm gonna drop in some wontons. Okay, when this is done, go ahead and turn it off. Top it with some green onion, cilantro, a few bean sprouts. 